Hi guys, I'm British WW2 Man and I got another video for you today. Um and this was kind of a double unboxing video. First off, I got something from Military Mart, however it was slightly not as good as it should have been. So I complained to them and it was sent back. And originally it would have been it, this is what originally was sent to me, and they said just keep it. Um and it so it's an M60 check backpack which is almost the same as a World War II German one however I'm going to modify it to be a World War II German one slight modifications are needed to turn it into a German one but anyway yeah I was pissed off with them because it was yeah, this bit broke, this bit was missing and so even, and it doesn't even reach there when it's not full so, so when it does have stuff inside it how the hell are you supposed to use it um, so yep and it's missing the tag as well off that so that's one bad thing about it the next thing that, that we got from them was two of these now these are both uh, Swedish um, vests not vests but like underclothe things that would go a bit like they're basically Swedish pyjama tops and the problem with them was look at that covered in mould so we were really angry with, with them and we um, complained to them and they said right we'll send you some new stuff and there was one more thing that did come with the original stuff but I was happy with that which is this so this is the Swedish M40 Parker snow parker sort of camouflage thing uh, and it's virtually exactly the same as a World War II German one. I've got a picture of a Raffin SS man who was captured in the Battle of the Bulge uh, wearing something that looks very, very, very similar to this. So, yeah, and I got that. And that, that was quite good. Only downside is that it's had a, one of the buttons replaced. Well, it might actually be all of them, and that's the only original one left. Uh, but, so what? It doesn't matter. It would be done like that in the field. It would have been modified, and you wouldn't really be seeing this inside parade rooms or barracks that much. You would see it in barracks, but they wouldn't really care as much as they would if your tunic, actual proper tunic, like an M40 tunic or whatever, was missing three buttons, and they were, instead of them being... Uh, green they were silver anyway just a example anyway that off that yep it's not got any dates it's just a little bit dirty but so what anyway so we complained to them and what they basically did was uh, say right we'll send you some new stuff so that's arrived today which is Christmas Eve it might not be Christmas Eve when you see this video but so what I'll just get on to the unboxing now. So this is the new parcel that's arrived and sorry about the lighting being a bit strange because I got my phone over here um, just so that the light doesn't look weird. Anyway so yep let's get started with the unboxing. So my mum's already opened it just to check that it was real stuff and I was at work so that's why it's not a real proper unboxing video but so what? She resealed it and that's kind of all that really matters. I'm going to try and be careful with this because you should really be very careful when you're opening stuff. I'm just using my standard knife. Um, standard kind of reproduction, possibly fake style. Um, supposedly World War II German knife. But anyway, it's more likely something that would have been sold to Yanks post-war who had lots of money and wanted some souvenirs or people who hadn't seen combat but wanted to sh pretend that they'd seen combat and so they'd, they'd make knives and say oh look you can say you can say you took this off a German anyway off that it should be um, a pack and a set of Y straps 
um, check wire strap that is. If not, if it doesn't have a set of check wire straps, possibly might not. Aha, yes, yes, that's good. It actually has the strap, it actually has that thing there. Does it have any wire straps on the side? No. Ah, it's actually got some markings as well, the other one doesn't. Got markings on the inside of the lid, I'll just show that to you. There they are. That's very interesting because the other one doesn't. Um, so, yep, that's that. And on the other side, yep, the other side looks great and looks in great condition. Yeah, this looks a lot, a thousand times better than the one that was sent originally. And then inside here, I'll just get rid of the packaging because personal info on you don't really need to see um, yep yeah, uh, it's got all oh, that's a lot nicer a little bit dirty but a little bit dirty there but, I mean, that doesn't really matter dirt washes off with mold can ruin stuff so yeah, a little bit more dirt on the second one I'm very happy with that and yep yeah, that basically those things that I've got this is the first set of wire straps that came with it so you know they're really good I like these wire straps um only thing is that the Czechs seem to have not known what they were doing when they were designing these because they seem to have reverse engineered it and made it a lot worse for the soldier to carry because but these freaking hooks German wire straps got to sit down there somewhere I'll just go nab them for you original set of German wire straps from the war um, used in the Spanish Civil War by uh, a Condor Legion member now look at them now the Czechs basically used similar system to the Germans as far as so far as attaching it to the top of the ammo pouch however it's more like they're actually using that part anyway so that's that that is okay it doesn't really matter that how it affects how it attaches that way but this is the most retarded thing I've ever seen someone do because look that's a, a nice little hoop and no problem with that and it can't get caught on something unless something physically goes through it whereas this this can get caught on lots of things just a piece of foliage just falls down there it gets caught in it you get stuck in a bush or whatever it's, it's pointless and then same with here germs had had d-rings here this has a freaking thing and so that can just get caught on anything and you can say okay that's meant to be attached to this the m60 backpack but what if you're not wearing an m60 backpack or you put your backpack down for example and you get attacked or whatever it just doesn't make any sense so what i'm going to do is basically just convert these to being um dak africa core version um because i mean basically these bits don't really need to be changed because they're almost the same all I'm going to do is just unpick this and unpick this and use the D-rings from this which I'm going to replace with D-hooks um, which I bought from Epic Militaria um, I will then take these D-rings and put them there and there just to replace them on this just because it's it would just make it a lot more usable but I mean you can basically see the the very big similarities between the the wire straps in general um, basically the Czechs nicked quite a lot of the German designs after the war because quite a lot of it was made in Czechoslovakia
I believe they kept on using the MP4G right up into the 1960s and they also used the SDKFZ251 in a slightly different format it was called some weird check name I can't remember what uh, but the checks used that and it was literally exactly the same as an SDKFZ251 and yeah it's very interesting that they kept them on um, of course the uh, M60 backpack rather for the Czechs, M44 for the Germans is virtually exactly the same only difference is it's got that it's got D-rings rather than D-hooks the tongue goes from there through a loop here instead of just starting on the other side there um, it's got another loop thing there and the fact that it doesn't have leather here but that, that doesn't matter and the fact that these are square rather than rounded off um, and the fact that the straps aren't on the centre of the outside they're integrally sewn um, and the fact that it's not bordered with another piece of fabric but they're all things that I can easily change did I mention the D-hooks or D-rings as well anyway I've got D-rings just going to modify it also the flap um, would have had a an, another piece of cloth around the edge as well so yeah it should be really easy to modify not that much doing to it really to turn it into a World 2 German one and then hey presto I've got an M40 backpack for I think it's £6.50 anyway this is actually technically not meant to be given to me now it's meant to be a Christmas present but my grand said what would you want and I said a backpack so she went okay um, go order it and I'll uh, pay for it and give it to you on Christmas Day so yeah very interesting it's got a little card there that says 38 on it and it looks like it was actually fixed there when it was made because you look at the discoloration of it it's not been bleached which is modern process for quite a lot of card and paper I don't think they actually sell at all in the world apart from developing countries such as India and some parts of China and definitely Africa they don't have um, bleached paper they have unbleached paper which is why all World War II documents the original you will see they are all brown and if they sh if they glow when you shine a UV light over it that means they're fakes uh, so you can tell if you've got a fake document or not that you bought or someone's trying to tell you something that's wrong and they show you a document which is a fake one such as I don't know what they say oh uh, this is correct because I have a ver pass or whatever that shows blah 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 um, and you shine a UV light over their ver pass or whatever and then it will prove them wrong or something like that anyway so yeah most modern western european made paper or card is bleached white which means that when you shine a UV light over it it will be glowing and anyway so yeah that's not glowing and the fact that that could only get on there when this hook was separate because it's joined in the it joins in the middle there um, as two pieces of metal and the two pieces of metal in the middle that join are just floating there so in theory I could take a pair of pliers and move them apart take it off and then take that off if I wanted to but I mean that's quite hard because what they do is they, um, they make that really hot and uh, they temper it I think as well um, so it's very difficult I've tried doing it with modern rings and I think it would probably be the same for that anyway I don't want to risk breaking it either yep so that's basically those and yep, that is a great great pack and great order from and we response from uh, Military Mart because I mean they, they were they did piss us around a bit but they quite quickly sorted it out because I mean yeah we we told them on I think it was and it got which was 21st that we told them it was wrong posted it on the 22nd arrived here on the 24th um, so I think that's pretty good and they also said that we could keep the ones that were defective as well 
I think that's partially because they realised that if they were taken back, what were they going to do with them that were broken? Anyway, um, yeah, and I think it might have kind of been a bit generosity as well because we've been ripped off and not totally ripped off, but I mean, been sold stuff that we hadn't been told and it was Christmas and they were starting to be nice. That's probably what happened. Very nice people. Um, yeah. So, that's basically that, guys. Um, Christmas tomorrow. So, have a nice Christmas. And happy Battle of the Bold. 72nd anniversary. Got there in the end. Anyway, so yeah, I've started a new job. That's one of the reasons why I've not uploaded lots. And that means that I now have lots and lots of money that I can spend on reenacting. And I've already got a whole load of the Zelt bars that I'm planning on buying from Epic Militaria. Um, because that's just the one thing, that, one of the things that I planned on doing when I got my first paycheck. And so, yeah, that's basically that. And comment, subscribe, bye, and have a Merry Christmas.